Gotta set that camera. Make some adjustments here. There we go. And one more thing. That was a terrible German accent. Okay. Kept you uh, waiting, huh? Uh, kept you waiting, huh? Yeah. So did I. Uh, huh? Oh dear. Mm Hi. <laughs> This good, this good, this guten. You can see a little bit of Donkey Kong right here. And you can see all of Bray Wyatt right here, the fiend. My camera is spritzing out right now. What's it doing? I think it's time for a new one. This camera is pretty good for streaming. Not so good for videos, though. When my face takes up the whole screen. Yeah, it's, it's getting really bad. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Is it gonna stop? I think it's done. I hope it doesn't keep doing that. I mean, what are you gonna do, you know? What are you gonna do? I am starting to stream off with Metal Gear Solid 4. I imagine I'll get to some Tekken 6 or Tekken 7 later. Might change my mind and I might pop in the latest installment. I haven't played this game in years. I just kind of felt like uh, popping it in. Messing, it, messing around in it. Great game. Beautiful game. I love this game. It's the... <laughs> it's the more action-packed and cutscene-heavy of the Metal Gear Solid games. Got a little criticism for that, too, but... You know. This was supposed to be the last one. This was supposed to be the last Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid, excuse me. But then Konami is like, no, it's a moneymaker. Give us a Metal Gear Solid 5. I want those subtitles on. I'm just used to it. I'm used to uh, I'm used to closed captioning. This is very rare for PlayStation 3. This is almost like um, PC game amount of options. <laughs> almost, almost. There was no uh, frame rate and graphics settings though. PlayStation 3 game. Don't do it, Snake. Don't do it! Oh, is it going really haywire right now? Okay, hang on. One moment, I'm gonna turn off the mic. I'm gonna try and adjust the camera here.
have to try to game plug it down a little bit. How about that? Oh no. No, no webcam plug. Leave no holes. <laughs> game sound to one ear only and the micro sound to the uh, microphone sound to the other ear. I wonder if there's a way to do that. Let's take a look. You have a bad time to do that. You're doing that now. Properties. There might be a way to do that. I just don't quite know how. I'll have to figure that out another time. Might be in the global settings. Mono? Ah, whatever. Whoa, what is this? Oh, of course it's Japanese. Hot chicks and tentacles. That doesn't get me banned from YouTube. <laughs> 18 and up. Already. Okay. Doesn't look like my webcam has spazzed out since I reset it. Essentially, all I did was unplug it and replug it in, and then just reset the output. Hang on. Solid normal and naked normal. What? Hmm. <laughs> I'm terrible at these games, I'm not gonna lie. I should, I should play it on liquid easy. Naked normal? What's the difference between naked normal and solid normal? Go with naked normal. I don't know. I have no idea. I've only played this game all the way through once. It's pretty beatable. Most of the time. There, there were certain points in the game where I had to start over again. Got slaughtered. Remember this at all. Got me where I am today. You guys better take your vitamins. After the baby, I've 
around and couldn't look at myself in the mirror. I gained weight and just couldn't shed the pounds. I didn't like how I looked, so naturally, I didn't like my baby. My own baby. I was uncomfortable around my friends, not to mention my husband. My own husband. Now, he can't keep his eyes off me. Va va boom. We be nano machine. I look and feel better than I did in high school, and that's saying a lot. How long is this? <laughs> I remember now that these were in the game, but I, I completely forgot about them until, until now. <laughs> Interesting. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? It's been blank for, for way too long. I have to fix something again with Elgato. Give me one second here. This is kind of embarrassing. Elgato, please stop. The no, 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 no. Not 80. Turn that game audio down to 43 is good. Wakey, wakey. Hello? Prime Mantis unmanned surveillance systems. The funky monkey. What the devil is going on here? There we go. You gonna read that, right? Yeah, I don't have to read it to you. Deo Kojima game. David Hayter. Patrick Stewart. Jennifer Hayter. And yet I'm reading out the credits. So I have no mods as of right now. I got my chat set to subscribers only, but you have to be sub for at least five minutes to break chat. It's only five minutes. Keeps out the spammers. Tell you that much. Phil Lamar. Voices in this game. According to Fallout, war never changes. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. That's very possible. Nano machines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. That's Genetic control. That's information that... control. Emotion control. Sounds plausible. Battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. I don't think we're too far from that today. changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed when the battlefield is under total control. War becomes routine. Get some cover, dudes. Look. 
crow. <laughs> Crap. We got these nano machine controlled soldiers that are just wiping out these mercenaries with ease. So it's kind of like these soldiers that are whooping ass right now are being played by somebody. Kind of like Solid Snake here. <laughs> kind of an allegory for that as well. Oh, I'm glad I got to control Solid Snake for a whole two seconds. long enough to crawl underneath the five times. Solid Snake for this time. Just turn into a ration? A thing. This guy's hanging in there. Point in even taking control at all. Just long enough to give myself a little tutorial on the basics. On the basic basics. It wasn't already pretty bad. They're sending the cows. Hide Earth from Jim. It's turning into redneck rampage. I guess the Mercs were gaining the upper hand. Now they get to deal with the Metal Gears, the Metal Gear Cows. Why do they make that moving noise? Never got that. Head 
north and try not to run into any gecko along the way. Oh, the geckos, never mind. Military issue portable MRE, meal ready to eat, Roosterer's life, and psyche when eaten, blah 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 blah. I need to stand up for some reason. Oh, well, nope. We to head north somehow. How do I get north? Assault rifle. I'm not planning to fight right now, though. Oh god! No, 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 just ignore me! Ignore me if you would be so kind. Ah! Don't mind me. I was going this way. You don't see me, do you? Okay, good. He's got better things to do. Yeah, snow. <laughs> Why did I talk like a human? Smoke break. Is this really time for a smoke break? Front row. Clumsy oaf. Help me, I'm falling and I can't get up. Pretty fast. You dodged all those bullets. He's pretty strong, too. It's pronounced Iraq. And don't you forget that infidel. Am I Russian or am I what am I? Trip is going to be relieved that they destroyed all those melons. A trip from facade of favor. This 
so did that stealth uh, camo also disguise his heat signatures? Just assume that it does. Because why would these geckos not be able to read heat signatures? Like that technology's been around for like forever now. Fuck my ankles. Was written there the entire time? Did he remove the ID tagness? Nice ass snake. Age hasn't ruined that ass one bit. New save. Ah, the old PlayStation 3 style of saving a game. There's some PlayStation 4 games that look the same. Those about to rock. I salute you. was positive, but the mRNA analysis turned up negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries, your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner's syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So, well, judging by how rapidly the aging is Rest, I'd say a year at best, right? Yeah. Snake, let's try another doctor. <laughs> it won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention fox die. You're right. That was supposed to be a flashback. To but we don't know where one. Naomi is. Uh, Naomi. This is my first cue. When the helicopter is landing. <laughs> Rapidly tapped. 
or X button, whatever. Ah, uh, Snake! Colonel. Colonel. Good to see you. We're both old men. Uh, both old men. Well, farts. I'm not a colonel anymore, Snake. Never was, really. Never I was figured me. the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. Snake. What are you doing colonel. these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. This game still looks uh, really good, given its age. It's 12. We found him. No, 14 years old now, I think. In the Middle East. What? Yeah, I think this game is 14 years old now. Is it? 2008. I'll explain along the way. We've got to stop him. I'm kind of now. just staring at Snake, so... Before so it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found him. He just doesn't die, does he? He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. On January 6th. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Make him pay. That was a Resident Evil 2 reference, by the way. Only two eggs today? Polidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, oh, four, six, six, five, two. Officially. Forgot how some of these cutscenes can be kind of cryptic. I don't know how I forgot that a Metal Gear Solid game made by Hideo Kojima could have cryptic moments in it. Praying Mantis! What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the Army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Sunny was the daughter from uh, that Russian chick from the second game. Uh, the, the first boss fight, I believe. An advanced camouflage suit inspired by the mimicry. Ability of the octopus. If the wearer lies still or doesn't move when pressed up against the wall, the suit can imitate the color and texture of a wall and ground surfaces, fooling both the naked eye and infrared sensors. See, there you go. Infrared <coughs> as well. Sorry about that. Just gonna belch. There we go. It's broken.
There we go. Want to see an old man hump the ground? There you go. He's doing the worm. Get out of the open. No, oh, they're turning people into rations and ammo. Avoid unnecessary combat whenever possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? Unless it's out of self defense. I'm afraid. Just gotta do what I gotta do. Don't ask what kind of accent I was going for there. Just, just don't even waste your time. I worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> Arsenal compress. Medicinal compress. Effective against muscle aches, sore joints, and bruises. Restores psyche when used. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know. What's in here? Ration as a reward for my exploring. And back in the dirt, like the snake that I am. Oh man, this does look like modern day Baghdad. Baghdad. Better to ro to bleh, low crawl. Use this guy as a meat shield. I suppose that's not really necessary. Get up. What do you got on you? you go. what, what? Petro bomb. Okay. That works. Yeah, you get like a ton more weapons and ammo in this game than you do in the original Metal Gear Solid. In the uh, PlayStation 1 version. This game really is more action than stealth. It's also more movie than video game. So there will be plenty of cutscenes, which I don't mind, because I think, I think it's, I think they're phenomenal in this game. It's gonna work. Who goes there? Uh oh. Nobody you need to be concerned with. Don't worry about it. I'm telling you, man, it's not worth your time. Just leave, dude. That's a good soldier. You don't have to do this. I 
still think the first one's my favorite one out of all five. And I do not count Metal Gear Survive as a metal shit. Who goes there? Well, I'm gonna have to take him out now. Alright. Oh, shit. Fight. Get him! Shit. Forgot the controls. This is embarrassing. There we go. I completely forgot the. I was playing with Metal Gear Solid 1 controls. Oh god! That was a tutorial and I should have skipped it. Oh, you can't hop over the wall! Damn it. Somebody's gonna come get you. What? Ah! I'm not your enemy! Bugger off! Get in! What are you doing? No, oh, you're supposed to get in! Oh, oh, God damn it! Ah! Where are you guys coming from? You know what? This didn't have to happen. Stop moving around! You're supposed to get in the goddamn locker thing! You're supposed to hide in the locker! Are you alright? Snake? Snake! Snake! Ba All the way back here. Oh, fuck you. Terrible checkpoint system. We've got contact! What? Oh no, what's this? Snake, your first order of business is to rendezvous with the Mark II. Okay. Just follow my instructions and use your Octo Camo to make sure the enemy doesn't see you along the way. I thought I had no enemies. Everybody's an enemy here. I don't have to say it. Not yet. No point in saving right now. They kept spotting me and I kept running into them. It was like, all right, well, I might as well just die then and start over. The whole thing's ruined now. Thanks to that one dickhead. Couldn't just leave me alone. Thought I was the enemy. I'm just minding my own business here. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, snake, what the fuck are you doing? Get in there. Get in your hole, snake. No, oh, get back in your hole. Never mind. Oh, shit. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. One of our guys is down. Taking alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Are, are they going to search for me at all?
<laughs> Let's go see what happens. Where'd he go? <laughs> He's like running around. Trying to figure out his surroundings. What the? What the? It's okay. They got less than 30 seconds of alert mode. Then they go back into neutral mode. Oh, start over again. You just noticed that? Sending reinforcements. You just noticed that? By the way, here's the case of the game. I have the physical copy. And I love it. Let's see if I should kill another one. Bomb. Give me whatever you got. Take it. And you. I'll take that too. This is HQ. All clear. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. <laughs> he dies immediately. <laughs> the praying mantis PMC recently restored governmental control to this sector. Utilizing all this tech earning a land view.
figure out my bearings. Where I'm going here. But seriously, can I not hide in the locker for real? Regain tasty beverage with rejuvenating properties. Restores life and psyche when consumed. Okay, I can. What's in this locker? This locker? with them. They're in a pair. Better get in the shadow quick. Middle East Red Zone. Next area. of the Middle East is actually pretty accurate. Oop. Europe. Sweetness. crawl button while running to execute a roll. Rolling can help you dodge enemy attacks and get past small gaps and obstacles. Thanks, Otacon. Oh, 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 oh. I can't remember if I can stealth kill in this game like I kind of mailed your solid five. God damn it, he had to frickin' turn around. That'd be no choice, dude. You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Remember that really? PMC can? weapons are locked. You can't use them. If only there was some way to get rid of the locks. <gasps> Porno mag. Yay, it's Playboy. Gentleman's Magazine, adored with sultry beauties on each and every page. Guaranteed to arouse the interest of males, ages 18 to 80. And if you're 81, you're screwed. Grip the magazine in your hands with the L1 button. Carefully plant it, <laughs> plant it using the R1 button. To view the magazine, continue to... Alright, let's check it out. Oh! My bad. Where'd it go? Never mind. We'll look at it later. Anyway, Mark II is waiting. We can get our FAP on later. Those PMCs are smart. Leave me alone.
Oh. Nobody. Just a guy. Shit. Nothing to see here, mate. <laughs> Gotta love those right now physics. Alright. He won't be a problem anymore. Anybody else around here? Fragmentation grenade. Oops. Come on, Snake. Kind of in a hurry here. Better hide this dude. We don't want him discovered. Do the same thing and tense you. I believe that's tense you shadow assassins at least, anyway. Burritos, by the way. Mango, I believe. Really good. Uh-oh. I'm targeted. By a little gecko on wheels. Snake. Snake, it's me. Huh? Otacon. Otacon. Sorry to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. Remember Rex? But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are Why is you? it so clumsy? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. Ooh, solid it's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. So many features in this game. You know, keep track of them all. I just want to shoot things and watch movies. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat. POC At least troops. in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. <sighs> what? I've already got a pretty kick ass gun. 
I think it's got a silencer on it. An operator. I like. installed a suppressor. Yep. And here's a tranquilizer gun. Yes. I love that gun in this game. We're going to humiliate some people. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding these <coughs> guns that aren't controlled. Yeah. You would imagine in this kind of world. Follow you wherever you go, like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. The snake. <laughs> the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little <clears throat> further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. <clears throat> It's a bit of a slow start in the very beginning with all the building and uh, all the world world building, lore building, story building, character building, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but also, it, we're still technically in tutorial mode. Just imagine that Metal Gear Solid 4 has a Snake, really long it's kind of a schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate section. route. Follow the mark on your radar. Look at that. Beautiful. Much better. Now it's kind of more like uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. I don't want to waste my uh, suppressor ammo just yet. Got a ration. I think I can grab that weapon. Or the ammo, anyway. Never mind, it's locked. It's not even worth it. We got these sandbags here. There's so much war happening around here. My god. Must keep the rent pretty cheap. So people won't be getting their uh, security deposits back. What up with my fault? My apartment got shot to hell by terrorists. And Doesn't matter. You're not getting your security deposit back. Call in, put a maintenance request anytime. <laughs> Your apartment gets bullet riddled. Hmm. I hop over this thing. Ooh, excuse me, where can I go? Not bad. Oh dear. I guess I'm going this way. Down on the ground. Let me do a low crawl. Sorry, dude, I gotta take you out. You're kind of in my way here. You 
guys are getting your asses kicked anyway. Plus, y'all were in my way. Y'all would have started shooting me. You freaking idiots. He has shaken out. That works. Oh dear. Looks like this dude got blown the hell up. Thanks, I'll take it. Detected as possible. What the hell? Ah, hey! No kicking! Aren't they a little busy with their own fight? Ooh, I got an RPG now. <laughs> I love RPGs. The game RPGs and the rocket propelled RPGs. <laughs> Safe house ready. Now loading. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> it's pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode. How do I do that again? Oh, there it is. Sights out of mind. We're the tunnel snakes, and we rule. Tunnel snakes. There go the tunnel snakes. Don't need to get in their way. Shit. 
chickens. Why are we in caution? Oh, they discovered him. Instant neuters. Steaming hot cup of instant neuters. Simply add boiling water, red stand, and enjoy. Restores rife, a bit of psyche, and warms the body when consumed. Cup neuter. Very white sounding for uh, very white American sounding for Middle East fingers. Oh, shit. Knock him out. what it can do. All right, now. There we go. Theme of Tara. From the original Metal Gear Solid. Uh, no, the original Metal Gear, excuse me. Infiltration music, known as Theme of Tara, because Hideo Kojima verbalized the song's beat as Tara during development. <laughs> Let me see here. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Okay, there's snake. Oh, 
Oh, good in my way. The enemy is attacking. Shit. Shit, tranked him. Camera! Right in the dick. Gotcha. solid eye at all. Huh. Whatever. It's gonna be the same effect then. Uh, I'm gonna just not have it equipped. Dude, you're gonna do yourself a big favor. God damn it! Fuck! Who where? Who's he? And where is there? Where's the enemy? What the hell? Yeah. Well, like, where do you keep coming from? Now I have to kill all of you. You brought upon yourselves, okay? We didn't have to do this. But you left me no choice. You keep freaking appearing out of nowhere. Dickheads. Business, can you all just passing through? Next time I checked, this place was public. See anything?
grab here. the iPod now? I don't think I can. can I? No, not sure. Another well, playboy! Middle Eastern militia disguise. I wonder if that'll come in handy right now. Doesn't matter, can't equip it. Just look on the bright side, at least his ass is covered up. We're not looking at his wrinkly ass. Put a cardboard box, yay! Tired of running into y'all. I didn't go in a big circle. Right now, but I... Come from? Where do I go? Where did I come from, Cotton Eye Joe? There. Never think to look into any of these lockers here. There's three lockers. Two of them are wide open. One of them is closed. There's no way they're going to think to look at the closed locker. No chance. This madness was end. Just passing through. I would totally leave them alone if they would just leave me alone. Yeah, I've been here already. Elevate your legs. It'll be okay.
Hold on. Did I miss? No? Okay. Alright, let's get this over with. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of I have you. A weapon. A monkey. Drinking a can of narc. And wearing a thong. Pretty sweet, huh? Oh, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. But an ally. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. He's sort of a friend. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered? <laughs> Doing magic tricks. You see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. Baby. Yeah, you can yeah. call me Drebby. I'll do your laundry. I'll do your gun yeah. laundry. They use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebby number 893. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? You need a guy like me. Consider it a welcome gift. Take it. But you're not a friend. Why are you giving me a gift? The M4. The official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government-issue shit. It's, uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. Talk about other people upgrading this game. No rattle. Go ahead, give her a squeeze. Trigger. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My oh, day yes. job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they even register. Have a sip. Mm -mm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green, neither. 
got last gen nano machines. So I'm guessing former US Army. <laughs> I don't know what you're here for. But you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. So, we ready to make a deal or what? Okay, then. Let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for services. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And... I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. Come on. Dark soda. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nano machines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nano machines. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? Better not be a COVID vaccine. No coof jabs now. Follow up for your booster. See? No sweat. Every two weeks. Now you can use non ID guns, no problem. Hey, be nice to our guests. Screw you, man. Step outside. I said it wasn't gonna hurt. Uh. Boo. Meanie. He's offering you the apple. There you see. No problem. Ooh, it's confidence back. From now on, when you pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course. It'll cost you. It'll cost The going you. rate depends on the war price at the time. <clears throat> Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. 
Yeah, seriously, it's like your second candle. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profits if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military's made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green collars. More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then. If you need me, holla. We specialize in speedy service. Holla. Catch my drift. Yeah, I, I really hope that uh, our current world doesn't go in the route that uh, Drevin was talking about in his speech. I know what you're thinking, but Drevin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drevin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are going to get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cash. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. Sounds we should assume Drebin has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Snake, hurry and get... 
get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across okay. is straight through. I wish I had a monkey for a sidekick, you know? Make things so much easier. It would make life a lot easier if I had a monkey for a sidekick. Okay, so not that bad. Well, that would hear me. What does that do it? What does that dude do it? Go, jackass. Somebody set up the car alarm for no apparent reason. Unless somebody's trying to break into somebody's car, that's possible too. Screw him. <laughs> Gotta get down there somehow. Somehow. There we go. Got it. I gotta get that somehow. I was wrong. Uh. Still no solid iron. I mean, uh, not Careful snake. cardboard box. The know. walls could come down mm. any second. Oh yeah. Still can't equip the cardboard box. dropped.
this way before. Leave me alone. I'm trying to figure out my life. I'm second guessing. I'm having cold feet. Shut up, Octagon. How do I get that dead guy there? Just hanging upside down. How you doing? Up there. Just hanging out. So what's up? The solid eyes night vision mode may expose enemy footprints. Shut up. Did you freaking give me video game hints? and keep going you shut up I know what to do you don't have to tell me anything nerd watch out the footings pretty narrow there you'll have to press against the wall to get past damn it I'm gonna do exactly not what you told me to do I'm gonna shimmy across instead I need my upper body workout out of time and yes, I know I called him Octagon earlier, right? That was on purpose. Where now? Wasn't I just down here? Then I ended up going around in circles. these people, they'll be fine. They'll be okay. Nope, cutscene. Uncontrollably. Who's there? <laughs> go, go away! I'm not done yet! Stop right there! No! Get back here! He's just chasing after him. <laughs> He's not shooting at him. <laughs> Cardboard box or a barrel that somebody took a shit in. Is there any poop inside of it? I missed my cue to L1. Oh, it kind of stinks, but. There's no shit in it, so all right, I'll use it. Like hell yeah. Okay, Snake.
Saving system data. Oh, here we go. Gotta have my iPod. A drum can. Hey. And uh, cardboard box. There we go. So that can be a cardboard box and a drum can. A drum can that somebody took a shit in. I was in this exact area earlier. Now I need Looney Tunes sneak up on your music. Ah, damn it. Damn it! Leave me alone! I'm just a drum can. Why are you shooting at a drum can? That's wasting your ammo. Shooting at a friggin' drum can. The enemy? That's not very mature, you know. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Just threw up. Get up. Whoops. Get up. Ah. I'll be taking that. Thanks for the ration. You owe me anyway. And now, you lie dead in my vomit. Enjoy. Remember, this is exactly how the old iPod used to work. God dang it. I thought I had a song for it. You know what? Forget about it. You know what? Forget about it. Okay? Stupid. I didn't, I didn't look right there in the middle of the. Never mind. Forget about it. Where my iPad go? Run. Play it. Wait a minute, this could be YouTube copyright claim. So yeah. I, I don't know, I don't know yet. But, uh... 
That's how I want to find out anyway. Alright, now I am just gonna barrel through here. Something that PewDiePie had never thought of. He hated the barrel so much. He could never win the war against the barrels. He should have just became a barrel. Can't beat him? Join him. So I decided to join the barrels. It's not like it's going well for them, does it? Snake, watch out. That area is covered by PMC snipers. Boy, this is gonna be tough. If only you could find a route that takes you behind them, avoids them altogether. Oh, shit! This isn't working well for me. What the hell? You piss off and mind your own business, you asshole. What is wrong with you people? I could have been on your side for all you know. Dumbasses! You freaking appearing out of nowhere. God, you guys are stupid. Stop it! Stop it! God damn it! Are you done reloading? Take your time, Snake. Probably take take your time. Take your time, reload. Take your time. I gotta come here. Freaking crashes. Assholes. Now there's less of you. Way to go. Was it worth it? Now you're all ragdoll. Oh, fuck! What are you doing? You guys are dickheads. Where do you keep coming from? I should just always look this way, huh? You need to fuck off! I swear to God! Not your God, my God. You guys really need to take the piss. Good Lord. They keep fucking coming out of nowhere. It's so annoying. Well, at least they keep coming from one direction. This way. Prepare for these assholes. Just keep coming. It's 
striker. The VMCs have sent reinforcements. Uh -oh. Now their defensive line is a lot thicker. It's going to be tougher to break through. That's a bad that thing, right? Striker will be shooting at you too. Stay on your toes. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. Ladder here and get a rooftop viewing of this madness. Next, who wants some? Somebody got fired. Oh god damn it. You can just leave me alone. Did he die? The guy that saw me. This guy's a little busy with your own madness. You guys. No bueno. It's not worth it.
keep hearing people turning into items. But I can't see them. Rest, my friend. Sorry, dude, I'm gonna have to take you out, too. No choice. Nice to jam. <laughs> what? Got to be turning the tide here in this battlefield. Dead. Meh. Meh. Out here. Let me see here. Keep going, guys. My feelings exactly. They just keep coming. Why? 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 You have to get up. Why? Understood. Regroup and engage. 
Alright guys, gotta do what I gotta do then. It's gotta be this way, then it's gotta be this way. Very, very well for them, it sounds like. Your men. They're all getting their asses kicked. It's a very different type of video game now. Screw stealth. I watch action. Get your ass kicked, actually. I like that better. Check! 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 Rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go.
you doing? Oh, snake. Take it down. What's wrong, dude? Ah, he died. BMC airstrike. Oh crap. That's the way. <laughs> Whoops. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Snake likes it. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Snake likes it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There we go. Now I'm one with the wall. I have become wall. Oh shit, whoops. Eh, I'm just gonna take a nap right here and rest. That was a rookie noob mistake. Yeah, this will make a good thumbnail. Snake just chilling out. Did it not save? Ah, oh, I'm not seeing the new thumbnail. That's not like Skyrim, I guess. All right, fine. Gonna take a nap. You okay, Snake? You good? Got a little ragdoll there, did you? <laughs> when it's been a really long week. <laughs> Just ends up passing out on the couch. Got a new ration or something like that. Anything else? What's he got? What'd he drop? I'm full. Uh, looks like I'm... Right here, then. up here. Is this the building where I meet Mira? Guess I know I'm full of ammo. So it is a long week, I tell you. Guys, camera. 
Oh man. Got some weird dreams about Otacon naked in the shower. fully clothed in the shower. Oh fuck, I was trying to, yeah, see I was trying to go around that. I knew that would happen. Snake, today is just not your day. It's a shame really that you're being controlled by me. Setting up all these traps. A really good idea to set up an IED in the toilet, though. Snake, I'm detecting a trap in your vicinity. It's a bomb that uses an infrared sensor as a detonation trigger. It's a remote control device, and I'm detecting slight traces of <laughs> sleep gas. Trigger it, and you'll be knocked out. So be careful. I can't even see that. <laughs> you okay, Snake? <laughs> Just sitting off all the traps. it might be transmitting its operating status in real time. I'd leave those sensors alone if I were you. It's okay. I saved the game. I'll be fine. What? No! Not all the way down here! What the? Fine, whatever. It means I get a second chance at avoiding those traps. Oh, 
that one. This one. Okay. Ah, fuck me. Sorry, Snake. <laughs> we went right inside of him. <laughs> what a glorious view. <laughs> Sorry about that, Snake. Oh man, oh jeez, oh man alive, I am so sorry Snake, I am so sorry, I am so so sorry. What? Oh, fuck off. I say it and I mean it. The toilet would be a perfect place for an IED. The integrity of this building is on point right now. Nothing else is falling apart. What's falling apart, that's all that's going to fall apart of this building. Oh god, kitchen. Imagine where you could place all the IEDs in the kitchen. All the places you could hide in an IED. Ooh, there's one. Really? Maybe the oven or refrigerator? Oh god. Nice beautiful sunny day, birds are chirping and people are just trying to kill each other. Good old humanity. changes. Shot the noodles before I collect them. Can't trust the noodles. Oh. 
What were the noodles doing outside of the fridge? That's what I want to know. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! All right. Here. Easy now. Don't move! You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. <laughs> Careful, I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. Having flashbacks. <laughs> ten-year vet, huh? <laughs> and... <laughs> How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move! CQC. Real big boss, huh? <laughs> CQC. Close quarter combat. Stapping out. Lower your weapon! Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. What is that? Fox. Snake? Snake. Meryl. She's canonically alive. You? into your face uh, I've aged it's called aging Leave my face alone I don't know right aging they don't know the cause oh my god Meryl you're my informant at the US military and you must be the inspector sent by the UN Bonk. Get out of here. Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. <laughs> Very anime. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. Her. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. Get off of me. No touch. Mm. I do not consent. So, you're the commander of this O-1 unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. It's not like he said there was anything wrong with it. 
the sleeping basket. giant is Jonathan. Run! <laughs> His hair. Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally. <laughs> Shits McGee. Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander. What does Akiba mean? I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. Turn around. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. I thought I thought you didn't fall in love. I so you have those feelings. What are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's state army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee. That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. 
They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. It's kind of scary. And the Patriots are behind this. Lalelule lo. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, it. where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the US military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. I wonder how long the script is. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, For the voice our dialogue. superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell. Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you got to be kidding. You expect me to work with my uncle? Everything okay over there? Meryl. Meryl. Take that chair. Stupid stool. This is bullshit. He's not my father. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Meryl. So, you knew. Yeah. Little violation of the need to know role. Then, why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. Meryl. Bad girl. Go to your room. He, uh, remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Hey. And what are women like? Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them, and they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the fraud. It's private troops. Rivets. Rivet, rivet. 
Oh crap. This is not good. Oh. Nope. oh. Uh, Better grab the toilet paper. Followed? No. Akiba. Uh, they might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Where to go, dumbass? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Yeah. You just said. Oh, oh. Now he's oh, really gonna shit himself. No. Oh, it wasn't my fault. I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh man. Oh. Look, I. What? Dumbass. <laughs> We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive. Follow me. Ribbit. and get out through the back door on the first floor. We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got it. Got it. Akiba. Got it, got it. Breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! Oops. 
think it's going this way, right? Sorry, I heard you're the hood of the butt one now. Where are they? I thought they were joining me. What's, what's going on here? Okay. What are they doing? Look at their ass escape. Are they one more floor up? Oh, made a ragdoll. Noodles. Kinda glad I got a little lost there. Alright, I gotta find them. Where are they? The mystery. Yeah. Oh dear. Snake, stop jumping. Behind me. Thought we were following my dude. What that? No. Hold on, Snake. One of Akiba's traps is still in the way. It's set too deep in the wall for the Mark II to get at it. You'll have to wait until Akiba gets there to disarm it. Where is he anyway? Where's any of them? Okay. Dead? Where am I? Who am I? What am I fighting for? What am I doing here? What is this like? Seriously, where are they? What are you doing? Damn you! Damn you! Take that. Loud. Where is everybody? Ah! Damn it, I was gonna be dead. You guys are doing very, very well. Dummy. Who threw it? Who threw what? 
And where? Thanks. You guys are trying to move out of here, right? But interesting. I'm gonna bump the shit out of my microphone again. What are you guys doing? Where they come from? Oh god! Why am I so confused? I do not know what the hell is going on here. Oh my god. No! Why don't you? Drop in and then drop out. There you guys are! You freaking nerds! Freaking idiot. Get your poopy pants up. 
Look at that poop on your pants. Just slap your ass until you wake up. When are they gonna knock out Miro so I can slap her ass? Damn it! Oh, I didn't look at that. Vale, dude, I know. Vale, dude, dead. Ha. Check it out. Disarm it. That's like shit. Poopy pants. Predator. That would have blown his arm right off. <laughs> ah. Akiba. Poopy pants. Oh my god! Demolition day! Gotta demolish this old building here. Gang. Front row. Elevators out. like an exclamation point. I'll get that. Hey. Poopy pants. <laughs> he smushed the shit around on his ass. You suckers later, I'm taking the stairs. I'm kidding. What? 
don't understand sign language. You just tell us in English, spoken. Hallelujah, huh. <laughs> low. Cool. Did a great job, Meryl. Good job. Oh, oh God damn it! Slow motion. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> bitch, 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 bitch. That's for my freaking shoulder. The nano machine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Under a hive mind. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you yeah. gonna be alright? Not bad for a guy my age, huh? Just get up doubles his <laughs> muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Akiba! Akiba. One man's blunder. Can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Change your diaper. <laughs> Be careful, Snake. Just poop. What? I've been trying to reach you about your vehicle's extended warranty. Otacon, I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. Mary Sue! That VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's got to have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there.
Fascinating. Okay, time to head oh. for the surface. All right, we will do that next time. Because I'm going to pop in Tekken. I was going to start with Tekken. But I... Uh, I had to go through a whole... Installation and update process with Metal Gear Solid 4. So I thought it would just be... Uh, quicker to get that over with first. Before I started the stream. And then I'll pop in some Tekken. Some Hacken Tekken. Quit the game. But up, but up, but up, but up, take care.